on uh, this particular circuit with so many long straightaways uh, dominated the smaller cars in the series, the Mustang of Rob McFarland, the Malibu, uh, the uh, Capri of Lynn St. James, but the Kelly Services people who are uh, supervising the series, putting it together, are trying to involve more American cars and some smaller cars in the series, giving them a weight advantage so that uh, there'll be more and more competition next season. You can be sure of it. Now, that's the way to go racing, Bergie. Yeah, there's all kinds of beautiful facilities in this area. <laughs> <laughs> that's not one of the more posh resorts. <laughs> oh, the price is right. <laughs> that, incidentally, does not refer to the Sleep Cheap T-shirt we saw earlier. That's Red Roof Inn, owned by Jim Truman, who's a very avid racer. We see uh, Jim Truman run the uh, series quite often. It is a beautiful setting. As Craig Carter collects his third place money and Vern Smith, that's Vern in the left in the brown racing suit. Gene Felton on the uppermost position on the victor's stand with the medal around him and holding the silver bowl, which he may fill with his favorite beverage a little later on this afternoon and take a sip or two. There's a good shot of the super speedway. The track is around on the white wall that you see in the furthest distance. There is a little track in the infield right behind the garage. That has nothing to do with the main race. Track. Gene Felton, 45, wins the Kelly American Challenge at Pocono International Raceway at Long Pond, Pennsylvania in one of the most competitive, hardest fought races in the 10 race series with one to go. We'll be back at Pocono in just a moment. They bring in the less fortunate back into the garage area as the crowd soaks up the sun at Pocono International Raceway. Gene Felton celebrates the win. Let's go to Mike Mike Brockman down in the winner's circle. Gene Felton down here in the winner's circle. Gene, you look like you had a lot of fun out there. Mike, it's the toughest 45-minute uh, race I've ever been in. Uh, this is a super, super racetrack. We have the big track to run on. We have the infield to run on, and it's just a tremendously challenging race course. Of course, when you've got eight or ten of these uh, wild Indians behind you chasing you, you know, you've got to go. You and Vern had an incredible race. Looks like you made up for some bad times earlier in the year. I think I, uh, once again, have uh, gotten rid of some of the bad luck. I just hope it continues to last. Uh, Vern was pushing me really hard. We uh, we went just full, full, full ball the whole day. We uh, I don't think either one of us ever lifted anywhere we didn't really have to. We went into the banking down there just flat to the floor and, and held it all day long, it seemed like. <laughs> Gene, it was an incredible race. Terrific. Well, we oh, certainly enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, our congratulations to Gene Felton with a charming smile and a very heavy right foot. Felton wins it. Vern Smith clinches the Kelly American Challenge Series Championship. And Mike Brockman's with Vern Smith down in uh, winter circle, victory lane. Vern won the championship and you had a heck of a race, didn't you? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Huh? Gene and I had a real good race in California earlier in the year, and I managed to win that one, but he, he won this one today. But they were both good races. We were both driving hard. And I, I was happy with the results. I, I lost my... I was having to double clutch all my shifts at the end, which is why he got a good lead, but I'm not sure that I would have been able to beat him anyhow. He was so darn close. Well, it was a terrific race, the kind of fans like to see. It was a great show, and we're real happy you won a championship. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Michael. Our congratulations to Vern Smith, the Kelly American Challenge 1981 champion, even though there's one race to go. And even though he's the champion, they'll go at it just as hard in the final race of the season. 
Here are the final standings. In first place, Gene Felton from Marietta, Georgia. In the second place, Vern Smith from York, Pennsylvania. Third place was Craig Carter from Marion, Indiana. Fourth place, Bob Overby. And in fifth place, Rob McFarland in the Mustang. And that bodes well for the Mustang next year. And Lynn St. James has already proved that her little Capri can be very competitive. So we should see a marvelous Kelly American Challenge Series next year. They are going to expand it, we are told, to ten races. Get a little sun in the Poconos. That's the way to live. Bergie, this was really one of the better races of the year, I thought. Yeah, this is one of the best races going. We knew that the Camaros had a big advantage to run in the super speedway part of the racetrack, and Gene Felt and Vern Smith measured each other throughout the whole race. Uh, you heard the interview with Vern Smith afterwards. He had a clutch problem, had a double clutch near the end of the race. So he uh, dropped back a little bit, and he was very happy to take the second place and wrap up the championship. Craig Carter, who we didn't see a whole lot of today, ran a very strong third. He and Bob Overby had a very strong race halfway through the race and then settled into the third and fourth position and Rob McFarland brought the small engine Mustang home into fifth place. If they can run a Mustang and run fifth at this track, it gives you an idea what they'll do when they get into the short tight tracks and they get a little more development time in that car. They'll, they'll be very strong. An impressive job of preparation, I, I think, Bergie. Uh, these big, heavy Camaros, 4,000-pound cars, handling that tight road section so well. Oh, yeah. They, uh, there's a lot of work that goes into suspension setup. What they do before they get to the race, all the practice and qualifying, their big concern is tire temperatures. They'll drive hard and see how hot the tires get and change the temperatures and change the settings and do everything they can to keep those temperatures static. They don't uh, want to get that tire up to... Uh, 260 degrees and have a problem. It's been down below 32 degrees, as you can tell by the trees that have changed colors already here in the Poconos. A lovely resort area in eastern Pennsylvania. We'll give you a final wrap-up on quite a day of motor racing at Pocono when we return. <laughs> American Challenge at Pocono International Raceway. We've had two winners today, Bergie. Gene Felton wins the race, and Vern Hello. Smith wins the championship, and you've got to be very happy for both guys. Oh, yeah. I'm happy to see Gene Felton get back on the winning track. You know, he dominated this series last year, and we've watched him in some of the previous races, and for Gene Felton, those early races were real throwaways. It just... Everything went wrong, but he sure had it together today. Never, Nobody ever questioned his driving, Kellen. It was always mechanical trouble that bit Gene Felton, and he apparently has gotten rid of the gremlins. Felton wins at Burns Smith, finished second in a very, very good race earlier. We brought you the Champion Spark Plug Challenge. Jim Downing won that and moved into first place in the series standings, and that championship will not be decided until the final race of the year as the man who was in the lead in the series standings, Roger Mandeville, got bumped in turn one 13 minutes into the race and was knocked out of the race. Downing won the champion race. Cal Choquette, his best finish ever in the champion series, finished second, and Irv Pierce. Both of them driving spirits. Pierce finished third. That's the best finish ever in, this, in the champion series for the driver from Southern California. Mike Brockman, it was pretty quiet down in the pits, which is a good sign in terms of the preparation of the cars and the way that these guys drove them. These races are, that's really true, these races are only 45 minutes long, and if we have much pit, pit action, then uh, it pretty much takes them out of the lead. Glad to see they weren't in here, and it ran an incredible race. It was real exciting from my point of view, and uh, just happy they didn't have to spend a lot of time in the pits. Michael, uh, the track seemed to stay in very good condition, too. Yeah, the drivers I've spoken with since the race said that the track was very good, and they had no problems at all. It's just narrow in the infield and very fast in the banking, and they like that. Mike Brockman knows all about that, so does... Uh Bergie, my buddy up here, both of these guys are race drivers. As for me, the only racing I do is on the Hollywood Freeway. 
which is probably the most dangerous kind of all. We'd like to thank the folks at Pocono International Raceway, Dr. Mattioli and his crew. They did a marvelous job making it easy for us. Also, our thanks to a tremendous crew, great camera work. The, everybody just did a, a sensational job. The official outfitter to Cinevit Productions is Janssen, America's favorite supplier of swimwear, sportswear, and sweaters for more than 70 years. Nobody knows bodies better than Janssen. That's the story from Pocono International Raceway. We sure hope you enjoyed it. Drop us a line. We'd like to, to hear from you. This is the way the Kelly race came out with Felton in first, Vern Smith second, Craig Carter third, Overby was fourth, and Rob McFarland finished fifth. A beautiful day for racing, and beautiful racing it was. We thank you for being with us. We'll see you again real soon. This has been a presentation of Cinebed International. With and that ESPN presentation, ESPN, the Total Sports Network. I'm Bob Steinbrink. Good afternoon.